Welcome back everyone to Generate.net. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating a new tool to add to your collection of book writing tools. This is the AI Amazon KDP Listing Automator and it's a Chrome extension. So it's going to create your Amazon listing within Amazon for you. It means you don't have to fill in all those forms. So if you haven't been here before, we are Generate.net. We create tons of bookmaking tools which basically let you do any create any type of book, whether it's children books, image books, coloring books, and book writing, doing everything with AI in more or less a single click. So without further ado, let me demonstrate this new function. So here I am in Amazon KDP, and I have all of these, literally this entire form that I'm supposed to fill. Now, we have already created a book creation tool, and now we've added to this tool a... Chrome extension, which when you click on the Chrome extension, what you'll be able to do is actually fill in this whole form in one single click. Now, the way this actually works is by choosing one of the books you've created. So these are all my books. If I choose any of the, these, for example, screen time balancing, you'll note that it starts filling in the form for me. So if I click generate subtitle, of course, that's going to be automatic. And then I can put default names in here. For example, if I put my name just once, I have to do this, and that's going to be saved forever. Then I can generate a new description of the book just by clicking this button here automatically. And then once that's created, this is going to be the description. And as you can see, it talks about the, the, you know, the author as well, which is you. And you can see it's been also written in a sort of organized way. Delete these um, extra space up at the top. Then you can generate key phrases, which are going to be appropriate for this book just by pressing this button. So as you can see, it's creating them. You can re regenerate by pressing this button, and then it will rewrite the key phrases to match your requirements. Once you've finished and you're happy with the results you could just click automate kdp listing now let me zoom out here so you can see how this actually works and you click that and as you can see it's completely filled in this form completely it's filled in the entire um, description it's filled in the keywords it's filled in basically more or less everything the only thing that's left is for you to click on no and choose categories and that's it once you've done those two you are ready to move on to the next step now this will work on kindle books and also on regular paperback books and so you won't have to do it for both purposes now just to demonstrate the power of this i've actually tried it on a coloring book as well because this was actually a storybook so let me zoom in here a second so if i select a coloring book from this list let's see if we can find one here here, let's say, for example, cute animal coloring book and generate a subtitle. There we go. Now, that, as you can see, the names are already filled in because the default names have been done. Then you generate a new description. That won't take a second. Get ready for a delightful. So as you can see, it tells you what's inside the book. Now, this is amazing because in the description itself, you'll note that this is going to all be shown in this way. Now, let's generate the key phrases. As you can see, it's doing quite a good job here with the key phrases. And when you click on automate KDP listing, what you'll find is that it's all filled in and this is all perfectly uh, done. So even though it comes out a bit awkward over here, as you can see, the, there's empty bullet points. Don't worry about that. Don't try and fix that because this will automatically be fixed once it's once you click on the automate button here. So as you can see, everything's been filled, including the keywords. So to get this extension, all you need to do is go into generate.net spelt like this. Oh, sorry, I didn't show you the actual listing because I was zoomed out. Sorry, just I'll just zoom out here and show you what I didn't show you before. So as you can see, everything looks perfect on this end of things and all the keywords have all been filled in as you can see to get this tool all you need to do is go to generate.net spelt like this and then you will find um, the category of ai for book writing which is right here when you click on that you'll find all of our bookmaking tools including our children's storybook creator which i'm about to actually show you in a minute because we've added some more functionality allowing you to increase 
the number of char different characters that you can add in the book. So just bear with me for a second. But you'll find it over here. Once you click on this button here, you'll be taken to the Amazon KDP Listing Automator Chrome extension. And then you just click the download button. Once you download it, you need to unzip it and then place it in a very uh, clear place, like a folder in your hard drive. So for example, I would put it, for example, Chrome extension, and then you just put the, 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 uh, the unzip file. So you're gonna receive a file which looks something like this. You just take that file, copy it, and then paste it into any folder. So you're unzipping this folder and pasting this file somewhere. Then what you do is you go into uh, Chrome, and then you click on extensions up here. Let me just zoom in, click this button, and then click on manage extensions. And then you just switch on here, developer mode. Now, the reason why we need to do developer mode up here on the top right is because we are doing this without buying the extension. It's a completely free extension. And then you click on load unpacked, and then you just click on the extension over here and click select folder. And that's it, it will appear over here. Now to have it visible at all times, just click on the extensions button and then click this pin button, then you'll see it here. Now whenever you click this button, it will pop up and then you just have to sign in to your account, which you probably already have, because if you've been generating books with us, you, you definitely have, um, uh, I mean, some books that you've made. And so we're using these books, these very books, to create these listings. Now, the amazing thing about this extension, it knows all of your books. It knows what content is inside your books. So you don't have to tell it anything. So when you're creating books with AI using our system, it, they, all the information is going to be stored inside our database. So that let's say you select a book, um, like, like, well, like I showed before, like the Animals AI Mandala, for example, generate subtitle. And as you can see, this one's already filled in with the intro. But if you click on generate new description, it will create reformulate a description. So right now in here is, is the introduction page, but you might not want the intro page in this. So as you can see, it's done an amazing job. And then you click on generate key phrases. It's as simple as that. It's really all automated. And then you click that. And then as you can see, it's all just filled in just like that instantly in one click. So this is going to speed up your workflow, especially for those who are pumping out content and just want to save time and let AI do all the hard work and just leverage on AI. So as I said before, there's more updates to the AI um, book, uh, children's book generator because we've been getting some comments about certain things. And so we've decided to take action as usual. So as you can see, this is these are the updates. So as you can see, when you once you've generated all the images the first time and only after you've generated all the images you'll be you have access to to upload an image uh to the t t meaning if you want if you don't like the image or if you need somebody else in an image you can then upload an image of of uh, of a different character and then create your own prompt as usual and then you can then recreate the image, but this time it will create with a different character. So as you can see, this guy has ginger hair and this is about him. And then his sister, however, loved reading books. So then we can upload a, character, a different character into here. And this, this, I just, I must, I must stress, you shouldn't try to have two different people in one in one book at any one time. You should try and focus on one character per page. This is what's working right now. The truth is, it actually does work quite well. I actually recently had a, a, um, a story where actually it worked pretty well, having two characters in one, but this is still in beta, so please don't try and do that. The second thing we've done is text on image. So if I show you this page here, we've created these two new buttons over here, select bubble or select text. And the reason why is because people had some difficulty moving the text themselves and moving the bu bubble themselves. So when you click select bubble or select text, it will let you select the bubble and then you can move it into a place which is more appropriate for you. Now, for those of you who don't know, all of this is can be done with AI. If you just switch on this automate with AI button, what you'll find is that this, this AI children's book creator will actually completely put text on images in the right place for you automatically without you having to do anything. For those of you who haven't seen all of this before, just subscribe to this channel. You really need to stay updated with all of the latest updates to this AI children's book because it's just getting more and more exciting as time goes on. The automations are, are becoming more and more extremely uh, more, more accurate and better and just we're upgrading the tool all the time. So as you can see, this was done completely automatically 
and you have five seconds as you can see down here five seconds to just move it a little bit and it just moves on to the next page and just does everything for you this is amazing for anyone now just one quick note about the chrome extension that i do want to say is as follows let me just go to the to the page one second so over here when we go to the chrome extension uh, this can be used for even for books that have not been generated through our app and the reason why we've done this is because we want people who haven't used our app before to be able to use this Chrome extension to for their own personal case use case. So, for example, if you had a book called Eating Healthy in 2024 and you wanted a subtitle, you could actually use this tool in, an, in, an, in a very accurate way for your specific purpose. So let's say this was a recipes book. And then what now you'll have, you'll see a new box appear here. If it's a book that you didn't create through our website, you will say we have 20 bread recipes, for example, and then you generate the description. So as you can see, even if you didn't create the book with our application, you can still use this Chrome extension to just make your life just a little bit more easy uh, with regards to your Amazon KDP experience. And then generate key phrases, as you can see, oh, this is this is talking about children's health books, but we will fix that. I can see there's a bug here where it's, it thinks it's a children's book. Obviously, because this, this was created more or less for children's books, but I'm going to make sure that that's fixed. And then uh, that's it. Once you click Automate KDP Listing, you'll see it's all filled in automatically just like that. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss new updates. We are constantly updating our range of tools and they just keep coming out. Thank you for watching and bye for now.